We are going to end season six in this episode, and hopefully we're going to end this episode with an extra trophy in our cabinet and possibly, ideally, qualification for Europe. This is how the league currently sits with just one game left to play. Esbjerg in second, Bromby in third, Viborg in fourth. Only one point separates the three of us. We are in the driving seat, though, with 19 goal difference. Viborg can still get ahead of us because, basically... That's who we're playing in today's episode. And depending on where we finish, depends on what part of Europe we get. If we get Europe at all. So, top of the table is Copenhagen. They have guaranteed themselves Champions League qualifiers. Second place is Europa League qualifiers. Third place is Europa Conference League qualifiers. Fourth place, I feel like is going to be the European places playoff. Because we are potentially, in theory, we should be in Europe. Because... I think we're in Europe. It suddenly dawned on me, I think we're in Europe. Because we're also in the final of the Pollocken Cup against Copenhagen, who have obviously won the league, which means the winners qualify for the Europa League third qualifying round. But if we lose, I think we go into the, the European places play No, we don't. European places playoff is the team who finishes top of the relegation group. I'm. We're just going to have to play it. I mean, when I say play it, we're going to have to play Copenhagen. Because that is where we start today's episode, in the cup final, and it's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough. They're the best team in the league by a country mile. And we don't play Copenhagen on camera a lot, which is why this formation is going to look a bit strange to you. It's going to be a 4-2-3-1 control possession, because this is what we play against Copenhagen. And we often draw, for the most part. We do lose a fair amount, but we often get decent results. It's going to be Pitts in goal, Moshen, Olisema, Rubio and Gercic in defence, Strunk and Madsen in midfield, Musakiri, Markovic and Pete as the attacking midfielders with Matteo Meyer leading the line by himself. I'm thinking, I mean, we've only got one person on attack. Do we put Musakiri on to attack as well? Is that a good idea? We've done it. We're going to go for it. So our first ever cup final in charge of Esbjerg. We are not on very good form coming into this cup final. Two defeats in a row. One of them, I'm pretty sure, was against Copenhagen as well. So, you know, they've got the number of us. They've, in fact, they've got everybody's number in the league. They are just by far the best team in the league. They are kind of the, they're the PSG of Denmark. Early chance for Copenhagen from a free kick. It's cleared. Not very far, though. It's going to keep this one alive. Vavro plays it in. Back to Vavro. Long range effort. Pitts holds on. No, he doesn't hold on. Kasper Tenge Tengetest, could be his name, has the ball in the back of the net, but he was offside? I think he was offside. He was miles offside. We have got very lucky. Depending on how this formation is going at half time, depends on whether we're going to play it in the second half. It's doing okay at the moment, although we're having no shots. We are having possession, which is what we want to be trying to do. Madsen tries to nick the ball. Estevez back to Watana. Ball upfield, Gercic collects it and chests it down and loses out to the unfortunate goal scorer from earlier. It is Fomin to Estevez, Gercic intercepts again, Markovic can clear. Only Maya to main for up there though. This is where this is a problem. We don't normally score goals playing this formation. We normally like draw, nil-nil. That's kind of the target. Ideally, not what we want to be doing in a cup final, is it? Cross comes in, Brun Larsen heads wide of Pitts' post. Still nil-nil. But it's Copenhagen. It's all Copenhagen, isn't it? Final 10 minutes and we've almost given away a penalty. Strunk has himself a little injury as well. Not ideal. Estevez against Gercic. Crosses it in on the ground. A little touch from I'm not even sure who it was. Plays it into the path of the striker. It's a good save from Pitts. Another highlight though. Literally seconds later. Or is this the same highlight? It's not the same highlight. Estevez this time goes over the bar. I think we need to change something. This isn't really working. We've got a corner. Pete takes it. Five minutes left to play the first half. Madsen collects it for us. Plays it in the middle. Edwin Rubio. Imagine if Rubio scored. Pete to Musakiri. Back to Pete. Get the cross in. Why have we not managed to get that cross in? Mossen's going to keep this one alive, hopefully. Olisema to Strunk. Plays it to Mossen on the right-hand side. Strunk again doesn't get there. Mossen does. Olisema again, who will be leaving the club in the summer because he refuses to sign a new contract, which isn't ideal because he's played a lot. Oli Semmer towards Musakiri doesn't get the ball though. And now Copenhagen can come forward. Good ball. Jakob Brun Larsen's in on goal. Pitts has gone for a dive and Gercic has managed to block that one. It is going to be a corner. Christiansen the man to take it. Jay Christiansen, which means they've got multiple of them. Rubio with a big head clear. Mossen clears it even further. We are defending quite well. The match stats and the ratings don't seem to say that, but I think we're defending quite well. 
Right, at half time, do we switch up to the... Oh, do we go route one? Do we do it? It's a terrible decision to do it, but I think we might, you know. We're going to take off Strunk for... Do We've got to do Mads Larson, haven't we? Larson's clearly the best central midfielder that we've got. We probably need to swap you two around, I think. We'll do it that way. No, we don't, because Markovic is not a central midfielder at all. I need to rearrange. In fact, I don't think I do need to rearrange. I know Markovic playing as a box-to-box -box doesn't really work. But, I mean, is that a better way? That might be a better way around. We'll just we'll do it that way around. We'll do it that way around into the second half. We're going Route 1 football, which is not going to be the most exciting football, is it? But let's be honest, we've had four shots in the first half and not a single one on target. 20 minutes have already been played in the second half, and so far nothing's happening. We've had a shot on target. It's a corner for Copenhagen towards the back post. Header clear. We need to get there first, and we don't get there first. Kasper Tengstedt is the man to blast the ball into the back of the net. And it is 1-0 to Copenhagen, and realistically, we ain't coming back from this, are we? Third tactical change, here we go. We are going to go for the 4-2-4 that we normally play. We can actually rearrange those into sensible positions. And a few more subs as well. Mortensen is coming on, Montano and Hoyland all coming on as well. We just need to get a goal. I say just, it's easy, isn't it? Just easy, just score a goal, guys. What are you doing? What are you messing around for? Headed effort from Dennis Vavro goes over the bar. Final 15 minutes then in the cup final. It looks like it's going to be another one for the superstars of Denmark into the final five minutes and not a lot's happening at all, is it? Nothing is happening. Hold on, maybe. Nope, nope, nothing's happening. We've passed it straight to a white shirt and now Copenhagen once again can come forward with the ball. This is the problem that we have. Copenhagen are far, far too good, but they're not good in Europe. If they were good in Europe, it wouldn't be a problem because they'd be propelling us, the league, I mean, not us particularly, but the league up the coefficients but they're not. They're clearly getting to the Champions League and probably getting knocked out in the group stages and not winning any games. And we're 2-0 down, obviously. I was just rambling away. They've made it two. Still not done either. There is still a possibility of a third goal for Copenhagen. It is game over, though. They are going to be crowned champions once again. Because, I mean, I wonder how many times they've won this cup and the league in the six seasons that we've played. I think they've won the league every year. Cross comes in. It is a... That's a ridiculous goal. That's that's nuts. That's his hat trick as well, isn't it? Fair play. I mean, we're we're not we're not good. We're not good. They're very good. Now I don't really want to watch this, but I feel like they they played too well. I mean, it's it's Copenhagen. I don't know how many times I need to say it. They're just the best team in the country. Let me go to the dressing room. I don't want to see it. Thrash arms. That was awful. I mean, there were some players who played real bad here. If I just highlight all of them, every single one of these, anything under a six three. I would say is bad. So all of you were poor. Now, I don't know what this means for the league and the qualifications for Europe and stuff like that, because it says European places playoff for teams not already qualified for Europe. But we can't, if we finish third, we qualify for Europe. So fourth place will get that European places playoff. We now have to go forward for literally two days and then play Viborg, which means I'm going to give everyone who played in that, plus a few others, an extra day off because we need fitness. We really need match fitness. I'm worried, looking at form, that we aren't going to get anything from this final game of the season. We're going to finish fourth. And there's going to be a third match in this episode. We're going back to the 4-2-4 because it makes sense. We are away from home. Not ideal. This is our starting eleven. So Pitts keeps his place in goal despite the fact that his recent form has been abysmal. Martinson, Rubio, Junior and Gercic in defence. Strunk and Madsen in midfield. Peter Montano on the wings. Barisic and Meyer leading the lines. Barisic didn't play in the last match because he was ill. I think he had a cold or something stupid like that. I am going to have a word with Pitts and Meyer because you need to be playing better. Talks with the players out of the way seem to go quite well. Right then, let's play Viborg. And all we need to do is match whatever... I say match whatever happens with Bromby. That's not true. If we match, if Bromby lose and we lose, Viborg move up into second place. So I don't, we just, just need to win, don't we? And my team talk was absolutely awful. Luckily for us, Viborg are in just as bad form. Three defeats in their last five. We are also on three defeats in our last five, but unfortunately all of our three are in the last three matches. Two of them were Copenhagen, okay? Two of them were Copenhagen. So I imagine there's going to be lots of TV interest in this match and the Bromby, I think it's Bromby Randers. I think that's who they're playing. So there's, I mean, I keep thinking we need to just do what 
just do okay. No, if we just win, it doesn't matter. We just need to win the game, and then it's all all said and done, and we're 1-0 down. He's offside. 35 seconds that took. It took 35 seconds for Weiborg to have the ball in the back of the net. And if this counts, good. If this counted, we'd be dropping down to third place in the table, I think. Sundergaard with the ball. Just two minutes on the clock. Weiborg have got something to play for, and they know it, which is annoying. They've So far, we've had a lot... I say we've had a lot of highlights. We've had two highlights. We're only two minutes in. And it's all been Weiborg with the ball. Said with it. Crosses it in. Nils is there. Nils Mortimer makes it 1-0 to Weiborg. And that is potentially disastrous. A minute and a half later, and it is almost 2-0. If Pitaluga concedes another one, we are going to be seeing um, Danny van den Heuvel coming on because Pitaluga has been horrendous. We've dropped down to fourth. We've actually dropped down to fourth if we lose this game. That's not good. Montano needs to get there and he does get there. If we lose this game and everything stays this way, we drop down to fourth. If we lose and Bromby lose, I think we go third. It's very tight in these three positions. Bungard with it. And I feel like we're going to bottle this big time, aren't we? Bungard crosses. Intercepted by Barisic. Now Pete got some space to run into. The Spaniard can go towards the right-hand side. Gets past Man as well. Keeps going towards the box. Cross it. Do not be greedy. Plays it back to Madsen. It's intercepted. I say intercepted. It's kicked into Meyer. It's cleared. And now Viborg have themselves a chance. Said with some space to run into. He's got no real support, but he's good enough to score a goal. And he bloody has. I cannot believe we've just conceded a goal where we should have scored. We literally should have scored in that highlight. And then we've been done on the counter-attack. I'm going to give him a shout. I'm going to demand more from the entire team. People are looking angry. I mean, people are looking very angry. Why are lots of people looking angry? 25 minutes. It's a corner for Viborg. If they make it three, it's game over and it's season over, isn't it? And this is not good because this is ruining our goal difference as well. It's 3-0. They're not very good. I don't even know what to do here. They've had five shots and scored three of them. We are playing horrendously badly again. Which, against Copenhagen, you can kind of expect it because they're very good. Viborg are not very good. They are certainly not Copenhagen levels of good. Cross comes in. Meyer's there. It's not 3-1 because he's offside. Meyer doesn't care. He's taking them back to the penalty spot. I think it has counted. I think it's going to be 3-1. Is the comeback on? If the comeback is on, this is nuts. Because we don't deserve anything at the moment. Cross comes in from the corner. Pitts comes out and claims it. Can we get a second before half-time? And Duka to Gurcic to Madsen... Montano collects it, who is, by the way, is one of the fans' favoured players who is currently at the club. Cross comes in. We managed to clear it slightly. Madsen chests it down straight to a green shirt. Why did you even chest it? Like, in what world was that the plan? You know what? I'll chest the ball down straight to the person who doesn't play for us. That makes sense, doesn't it? It's viable with it. Adamang to Scholl. If we can nick this, there's a counter-attack opportunity. Although, there's a counter-attack opportunity for them. Sodegaard's effort is blocked by Pitts. It's going to be a corner. I thought he might have been offside. Corner's going to come in from the right. Two minutes of normal time towards the six-yard box. Cleared. Said collects it, though. Said's already got one goal to his name. Pete's crossed that in for them for some reason. What are we doing? No sensible decisions seem to be happening so far in this match for the team wearing black. The highlight ends. It is going to be 3-1 at half time. That is awful. That is absolutely horrendous. What is going on? Throw the water bottle? Maybe not. Let's wait for the end of the match, I think, for that one. But that's a terrible performance. Straight into the second half. No subs, although Mortensen should be off the pitch. Gurchit should be off the pitch. Madsen should be off the pitch. So should Montano. I feel like doing four subs at halftime might be a bit excessive. Bungard with it for Viborg. Can we do anything to maybe change something? It's pause the game. Okay, I've never used this. I'm going to go for slightly more direct passing. Um, to be shoot on sight, hit crosses early, sure. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is potentially going to kill everything. Whatever I've done there might be the best or worst decision that I've ever made. But we're 3-1 down, so I don't think it's going to make too much of a... If it's a good thing, then great. If it's a bad thing, it's already bad anyway. It can't get too much worse. Shoal with the ball, 54 minutes. Ball over the top, keeper comes out. Pitts is getting there first, and Duca kicks it off for a throw. Corner, though, for Viborg a couple of minutes later, and it's a penalty. It's a penalty. Are you actually joking me? We're getting VAR because, you know, referee wants to watch some TV. It is a penalty. Pitts needs to save this in order for us to finish second place in the league. Otherwise, we will be finishing fourth. Lehman steps up. Pitts does save it. Pitts, what are you doing, man? You are all over the place in this match. 
Seconds later, and another highlight for Vyborg, though. We can't catch a break. We literally cannot catch a break at all. Mortipa loses out. Rubio clears it, but straight to a green shirt. We can't get out of our own half. This is this is ridiculous. Gercic wins the head. Doesn't get it far enough. Mortensen flicks the head clear. Saeed collects it, though. He tries to get some space for himself and does so. It's a good block as well by, I want to say, Strunk. I'm not quite sure. Good news. Randers have scored against Bromby, which means we drop down to third place. Vyborg will move up into second. Strunk's corner. Rubio's there. Oh, I thought Edwin scored. I thought Edwin scored then. Right, we've suddenly kind of sprung into life in this second half. We are going to need to do some changes, but I don't really know what to do. Right, three changes. Musikiri is coming on, although we need to swap you round. We're also bringing on Sorensen and Mossen coming off Montano, Gercic and Madsen. Mortensen's moving over to the left back position. Do we do? Do we want to try anything else? I mean, play for set pieces. I want to win corners. Corners seem to be a good thing. Let's play for set pieces. Final ten minutes of the match. Nothing is happening. Everything was done in the first 25 minutes of this game, and it is going to be a defeat unless something happens here, which I don't think it's going to. Viborg has just been too good, and we've been too bad. This is the problem. And this has been the problem for the last four matches that we've played. We, uh, it's, Oh my word, I thought I thought Pitts just walked that in. Saeed was offside. The best piece of news, though, from this, it's not ideal, but the best piece of news is Randers are 2-0 up against Bromby, which means third place is almost guaranteed now, unless Bromby can turn that one around and win. But third place is almost guaranteed. We've got no time left. It's an awful performance. It's an awful episode. Let's be honest. We've played twice. We've got absolutely smashed twice. Because it's the end of the season, you're coming in for training. Why not? Let's punish everybody. So, confirmation then. It is third place. Which means we are still in Europe, but we're in the Europa Conference League qualifiers, not the Europa League qualifiers. We should have finished second. We really should have finished second. With how well we've played for most of the season, to throw it away in the last three matches is nuts. So the worrying thing, it says Viborg have booked their Europa League ticket. Have we booked our Europa League ticket? It does say Europa Conference League. We are in the Europa Conference League, which means fourth place is going to get the playoff, which is going to be up against whoever's won. There you go. So Bromby versus AAB. We don't really care too much about that. I'm going to go forward a couple of days to see what happens when it comes to finances because we don't have... A particularly big transfer budget. In fact, we don't have a transfer budget. But it would be nice to, you know, have a transfer budget one season. Just, just I don't know, like a million pounds. That'll do. And just like that, about a million pounds. 1.07 million pounds to be exact. I think we are still probably over our wages. Yes, we are. But in the summer, we are going to have ourselves a bit of a cull, I think. We've got some potential players that we can get rid of. Let's get rid of all this highlight you nonsense. So we've got, when it comes to current ability we've got some players Malik Amir I don't think he's ever going to make it Seca Naldinho players like that I think we should possibly look to move on Montano as good as he's been for us he might be reaching his limit of what we need he's played 177 times for us that's a lot we've got some players down the wrong end basically when it comes to current ability we do have when it comes to potential ability we've got some players for the future Rubio Gercic Gay Mossen Tan Naldinho, apparently. I'm not I'm not sold on this one. I'm not sold on Naldinho. Junior and Duca is apparently four-star potential. He's 26, guys. I don't think he's going to get much better. And there is another player who is joining, I think, in like two years' time, who I'm hoping has potential. And it's because he's from Micronesia. Denson Barnabas is a 16-year-old Micronesian striker who is available on a free transfer. And I looked at him when he looks better than most Micronesians. He's probably awful. He's also called Barnabas. That's kind of one of the reasons. So yeah, he's a player who's going to be joining in 2029. So in a year and a bit's time. He's also broken his ankle. So I know the season's over and all. And I've gone forward a few more days. I've just had my team talk with the squad. And we've basically agreed to get out of the group stages of the Europa Conference League. Which, if we do that, that's quite impressive. But... For some reason, my personal assistant, Chris Farrow, has turned around and said, we've arranged an emergency recruitment meeting because of the poor form. Um, sure. What are you going to find me? A left back? That's that's the position. That's the position you think. I, okay, find me a left back. As much as performance-wise, players like Gercic and Tan have kind of cost us, I don't think that's the real issue. We've scored two goals in four matches. We've scored three goals in five matches. 
we stop scoring goals. That's the problem. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode and this season with Esbjerg. I'm frustrated. I'm genuinely frustrated with how poor we do when we get to the championship group. We seem to start it off quite well and then we just crumble with the last four or five games of the season. We did it last year as well. We just completely crumbled. And it's kind of becoming a little bit of a habit that I don't want us to be doing. We also need to work out how to get past Copenhagen because losing two matches all season is not acceptable. And one of them was literally like three matches ago. That's something that is going to cause us bigger problems when it comes to building a nation. Not that that's what we're trying to do, but kind of we need to build the nation of Denmark in order for us to progress, get into the Champions League, get more money, build our squad. That's the problem that we're stuck in. Thank you very much for watching this episode. That's the word. If you did enjoy, like, subscribe, click buttons on YouTube, put comments down in the comment section below about how poor we are at football and what I should do to fix it and what I'm inevitably not going to do to fix it. And I'll see you in season seven.